Lucy Bush wants to watch me make coffee. Now, I've done it a lot of times, but, you know, I love making coffee. Let's have coffee. So over here, I keep my uh, butane stove. I got a little wet t-shirt thing going on here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had that. Uh, let me show you do my orange one, but this is the blue one. This is the blue collapsible bucket. And I keep this out. And I put a little water in it. And what I do is... I just take this off and dunk it in water. I take my shirt off, it's sort of the same material, and I dunk it in water. I've actually been dunking these in water too. And then when I'm sitting here, my fan is over there. I'm cool, even without turning the air conditioner on, I'm pretty cool, so. Whoosh, frisbee! There we go. Okay, so this is my butane stove. Now I'm gonna direct the camera down. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Take it out. I keep this in there. It's that non-skid for um, cupboards. Turquoise. There. There. That way it doesn't skid. Here is where it all happens. I have a little bit left. I hope it's enough to make coffee this time. Butane canister. You take this off. Put this someplace that you know you're always going to find it. Because you never want to store this without the lid on it. This will go down and literally release butane into your whole living area. Not good. There's a little notch right here. Match it up. There you go. Make sure it's in there. I kind of wiggle it. Close it up. I have a special drawer here that I only keep coffee things or things for the morning, like my vitamins. This is my coffee. It's Folgers Instant. This is for coffee only. It's got one of those things that actually like closes it. This is what I use to heat water up in. These all came from Walmart. This is my coffee spoon. Okay, so let's get some water going. This is what I keep water in. Put one in here. In this drawer, I put flavoring in mine. I don't always use this, but lately I have been. I keep it in here because it's too hard, it's too tall to fit in here, so I lay it flat. And then over here, I use two of the creamers. So here's the lever. You push, push it down. Then you turn it on. And you just wait for it to boil. This is just about to boil, so I'm going to stop it. What I do is I take this out first. That way I don't forget it, because I don't like to store it in there. This could easily engage without me knowing it, and I don't want to poison myself. So, and right here is my lid, and I keep this over here. And I keep it upright. There we go. Better lighting. Okay. Okay. Put the cream 
somewhere in. I like to add a little cold water so I can drink it right away. Especially since it's warm out, although it's pretty nice today. So made your coffee. There was a little bit more footage afterwards, but uh, my microphone totally went bad. Uh, you know, for uh, the price of that microphone, <laughs> yeah. So um, it was good coffee. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed it because I gave it to you. Here you go. I'll give it to you again. There you go. There's your coffee. So I also explained in my footage that I was going into the mall. I'm parked at the mall. I was um, going into the mall to let you know that I was going in. And I was going to um, do some footage while I was in there. I had my microphone on and I had my tripod and everything. And I did take footage in there. But then you'll see. So I'll, I won't. Before I was saying, I'm going in there. See you in there. But now I get to say, hey, I'm going to show you the footage I went in. Inside the mall. As you can see, they don't even have the lights on. Actually, it feels a little cooler in here. I don't know, when I came in this morning, I mean, they didn't even have the air conditioner going. It's kind of hot, walking around. But they don't even have the lights on. I think they're trying to discourage people from being here. The ice cream is open. And Charles Philly Steaks. They're the only food court open, so. There's a glimpse. Let's go someplace else. So here we have in front of 21, Forever 21. And I asked what the lines were for. They are only allowing 35 people in at a time. That's upstairs and downstairs. I don't know if any of you know Forever 21, but uh, it's huge. I mean, there's a huge upstairs and a huge downstairs. Yeah, only uh, 35 people. So I, you know, I, uh, I just said, I asked them what, what this was all about. And I said, well, I was actually going to go in and buy something. I do like Forever 21. I know it's not for everybody. Some people say, oh, I'm too big for that. Um, I'm at the, I'm at the, I'm at the, uh, the bottom end. I mean, <laughs> if I was five pounds more, nothing would fit me in there. But I can get things, yeah. I like their shirt. They got the cutest color. They really do have cute clothes. That was the one store that I probably would have bought something. But I'm not going to stand in line to spend money. I think they're trying to get us used to bread lines. <laughs> Maybe. They do have chairs available to sit on. There's little stickers on them that says uh, only um, six feet apart, six feet apart. That's magic number, six feet apart. I mean, a lot of most of the stores are closed. They're just closed. So yeah, J.C. Penney's is. So the soda machine is taped off. Of course, anything to do with children is out of uh, bounds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these are all taped off. Can't use them. Poor kids. Uh, yeah, well, who really wanted this thing? But um, it's taped off. But there are chairs over here. Yeah. Let's see what this sign says. Give you an idea. Sit smart. Six feet apart. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Most of the stores are closed. And most of the middle aisle businesses are close to. I don't think so. Okay. The massage chairs are roped off. pretty 
dark in here, really. But the air conditioning is working better. I guess it took a long time to get it going. There's a sad puppy. He's stuck. This one over there, too. Children's area closed off completely. But of course, can't use the photo booth. I don't know who did, though, use that since we have uh, our smartphones, but can't use that. So I'm sitting on the second floor. Hello. Yeah, you can't take film. You can't even take pictures because he said it's copyright. Like, if you wanted to buy an outfit, but you wanted to send it to your girlfriend to see, well, what do you think of this? You're, you aren't even really supposed to do that, although I'm sure everybody does it. But, yeah. Funny stuff. He goes, well, are you filming now? And I, I didn't think I was. I go, yeah, I'm filming you. <laughs> I think I would have been a good journalist because I don't mind taking chances. I mean, what are they going to do? Kill me, you know? So, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't mind taking chances. At one time, I was in Parker, and uh, I went in the casino. I wanted to take uh, footage of it. <laughs> he goes, the guy goes, he goes, well, I don't. He goes, that's probably not a really good thing to do. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like I said, I don't mind taking chances. I mean... You know, this is life. Who cares? <laughs> so yeah, I'll get a yeah people coming out. So yeah, it's um, it's kind of interesting that uh, oh, and he said and and they might think that you're taking pictures of like ex entrance and exits, so that if you want to like for um, for like uh theft stings or whatever. I don't steal. That's what the mall looks like. It's pretty sparse. Things are roped off. A lot of masks in there. And there were some stores that required that you wear masks. I would never go in there. Um, Forever 21, I did read um, that they, um, they suggest that you wear one, but it's not required, so. If there wasn't a line, I would probably go in and kind of look around, but, nah. I'll just keep ordering from Amazon if I need to, you know. Okay, you guys. Love you. Mwah.